Now, in the last video, we looked at these different light-dependent resistor circuits and measured the light-dependent resistor on its own, its resistance depending on how much light fell on it. This video, we're going to use the light-dependent resistor to control a bipolar junction transistor switch. So, we're not going to use the 2N2222, we're using the 2N3904. I'm going to start using that one. Uh, more often, but I drew this data sheet when I used the 2N2222. The circuit's going to work exactly the same, so it's uh, no big deal. The pin layout is even exactly the same. So we have here the collector, the base, and the emitter. And when you're looking at a transistor, all of mine that start with 2N right there, if those are the first two number and letter. Then when you're looking at the flat side, you have the emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. So if I swivel it this way, the collector is on top. And uh, I'm going to come here, going to put the emitter to that jumper that goes to ground. You can see that goes directly to ground. The uh, middle pins go into this jumper. We will make our voltage divider coming up. Collector is up here at the uh, top up there. So we're going to give it a load an LED and we're going to have to protect the LED so long lead the anode towards the more positive side short lead the cathode to the collector right there pretty straightforward and 220 ohm resistor because we're using 5 volts my power supply is set to 5 volts and so now it is powered but it is off because we don't have a signal to the base of the transistor yet it is just floating if I touch it with my finger, I can give it a little bit of a false signal. So now it's turning on and off about 60 times a second right there. I talked about that in other videos. So now, we are going to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And so you can fine tune this with other value resistors, but I find 10 kilo ohm works really well. And now you can see the LED is on. We just turn the uh, transistor on, the LED is on. Now we have current flow through there and if we limited the current well enough then we would have a middle ground in current going from collector to emitter but right now we have a small amount of current going through base to emitter it's allowing a lot more current so the resistor is actually limiting the current from collector to emitter and we're going to grab the light dependent resistor and complete that side of the voltage divider and so now you can see that uh, when it's dark enough the LED is on but now when it's bright enough the LED is off right there so we did pretty good there that's uh, that's why I use that value resistor so we have it where the LED is off when it is bright and uh, on when it is dark if we want the opposite situation we just have to put the light dependent resistor on the other side of uh, the circuit but it gets a little more complicated so we're going to take the light dependent resistor light is falling on it now and so it's got a somewhat low resistance so I'm using a 220 ohm resistor in series so we can get to almost zero ohms of resistance but going positive through the base 2 emitter that's a high current so I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor to make sure we always have at least 220 ohms of resistance their resistances will add up now we have a 1 kilo ohm resistor so it's a, a different value resistor but we get about the same result so now we have the uh, light on and the LED is on let's make it darker and we get to that point then the LED turns off right there uh, pretty nice so we can control this pretty well and so if you want to see the voltages involved it takes about 0.6 volts from a base 2 emitter to get current to start flowing and then it turns the transistor on if current is not limited quite a bit so I have the meter here the probes which are kind of catching on stuff right here I just clipped alligator clips to them and of course this one can go this black one with the blue jumper can go anywhere to the uh, negative rail doesn't matter where and the uh, red one here we're gonna measure the base of the transistor right there 
So we're at the base, the middle pin right there. The meter is off. Now we got the meter on. So there you can see about 0.7 volts. So we won't get voltage build up there. When I make it darker, you can see that the uh, voltage is uh, going down because we're getting closer to the negative rail because we got more resistance on the positive side right there. That's with the light emitting, uh, the light dependent resistor, I mean, on the uh, more positive side and a one kilo ohm resistor in this case on the more negative side. We might as well move there. So now let's uh, plug this and we will go back to the 10 kilo ohm resistor on the positive side. This will light up because we have that uh, positive going that way. And uh, so now negative side, we got negative over there, negative over here. It doesn't matter if we get about zero ohms with the light dependent resistor, everything is safe because zero volts and zero volts is a zero volt difference. There will just be no current flow if we get down to zero. But uh, there you can see light is falling on the LED. It's pulling the voltage down to the negative rail. If we get it bright enough, then it should get to virtually nothing. So I'll get my headlamp really quick and we, uh, we got that there to uh, almost zero volts right there. But it's well below at 0.6 volts where the uh, transistor starts conducting and it started raining I hope it doesn't sound too bad but uh, we're almost done there but we get dark enough now we got high resistance with the light dependent resistor the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor can pass current we got a build up of over 0.7 uh, volts but it's gonna let current keep flowing through there so from the uh, emitter to base the base to emitter we have about 0.7 volts based on how much current is flowing through there. So quite a bit to pull it up above 0.6 volts. But in any case, that's really it. Really simple circuit. You learn a lot about both transistors and light dependent resistors when you uh, build this circuit. You could also call them a photo resistor. You might hear the same name. It's the same component. Light dependent resistor, LDR, or a photo resistor. So in any case, thanks for watching. Uh, please watch some more videos. I'll see you in the next video.